ideas are a little out there, but just roll with it. Use the intercom and tell him whatever he needs to hear. Oh, and please don't kill him. Oh, I do. No. Plus, if you don't kill him, Turn gives you a shiny piece of iridium at the end of every session. Anyone who gives you a crystal is definitely legit. Greetings, prospective patient. I sense why Sparrow and Grouse sent you, and I can help. But first, are you in a consciousness-centered place and prepared for growth? I've got a load of issues and whatnot. Ah, but is your energy properly aligned? Let me observe your energy flow for a moment. All righty. I'm sensing that you have a very stressful work environment and that you feel the fate of the universe rests on your shoulders. Interesting. Now I see your energy is flowing. Keep aligning. I'm trying, damn it! Slightly more to the left. Just let me in, would you? There we are. You are now properly aligned and prepared for healing. Please, enter my sanctum. Remember, this is a sanctified space where all life forms can coexist harmoniously. Oh, the world will kick you in the pants for thinking a thing like that. Your first diagnostic session is free. After that, I charge a nominal fee of $1,000 per cosmic realignment. Now, to begin, please lie on the couch. Ah, uh, yeah, can't do that. As you wish. Your path will take you where it must. Anyway, we'll move on. Now I'd like you to express yourself creatively. It exfoliates the soul. Use that paint there and just go nuts on the canvas. Yes! Excellent! Now paint whatever is in your heart. Your soul's heart. I see. From your artwork, I sense you feel stuck in an endless loop of violence and material acquisition. Interesting. I know just the thing to break your cycle. A magnificent gift, just for you. Please, open the Box of Tranquility for a glorious reward in recognition of all your hard work today. Oh, how unfortunate. Not what you were expecting? And how did that make you feel? How did that make me feel, he says. Well, that you're a right asshole is how. Yes, yes! You're expressing yourself. It's time to start your treatment. Listen carefully. You must trust me completely for the treatment to work. Under no circumstances should you resort to violence. No promises. I want to be crystal clear. We cannot walk the path to healing hand in hand with barriers between us. I will let down my guard, and so must you. Do not shoot me. I cannot stress that enough. Please do not resort to violence. You'll never achieve harmony acting like that. You're a terrible patient! you feel the signal burst? They killed Turn as how it went. Why would they do that? Because he's quite annoying. Or was. Sorry, he got... 
got killed. At least the tables. Good riddance. The only thing crystals are good for is high precision internal timekeeping. And some are quite gritty. Why are you so mean, Grouse? This was a matter of survival, Sparrow. When are you going to start taking things seriously? Never. What's the point of life if you have to take everything seriously all the time? You're hopeless. in any guardians nearby. Place that trap, then lock and load. Here they come. Be careful. They don't need to be careful. They need to be badass. They can be both. Careful with me, old dude. Then he got killed. Good riddance. Just for the crack!
Just because you're a Craven simpleton doesn't mean everyone's like you. More like craving some tasty marshmallows! I dream of killing you. Those things look so fun. I wish I could drive one. No! Be one. You barely fulfill your primary function. As a vehicle, you would be a miserable failure. It looks like you've gathered all the parts. Return to me and we will assemble our dark cannon. Always love a new cannon. Place the parts you gathered and set up the energy trap near the prototype. Jeez. Careful, that energy is volatile. Somehow we survived the bright light. Here you go, Vault Hunter. Our dark cannon beckons. It is beautiful. So dark. And so... Cannon. Your payment, Vault Hunter. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got a fancy new dark cannon, don't you? Get out there and kill some Malawan, you force of nature. Freaking king of the jungle, you beautiful monster. Boom, boom, baby. Your skills are required. Surely you felt the necroquakes, Vault Hunter. It must be mad All right, quake time, fast time. As you can see, Sparrow finds the necroquakes fun and cool. But if they continue, this planet will be torn apart and everything will perish. Which is objectively not cool. You must use those beacons to discover the source of the quakes. Take some explosives as well. Just in case. To start, place the first beacon. Two more. We must triangulate the beacons to determine the necroquake salt.
fingers getting tired over here. meaning you have successfully placed the beacon instead of being consumed by nightmare beasts. If Sparrow had half the survival skills you possess, they would have already tamed this inhospitable planet. I've got survival skills. Watch! You are currently on fire. Oh, crap! Wait! No, I'm not! Uh, you got me. Oh, we go higher than that! You couldn't hit a cow out with a banjo. You picked the wrong battle. I went from having almost nothing in video ways to having over 260. Like, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's nuts. By voracious animals, you have placed the other beacon. Good. Now I will triangulate. One moment. Grouse, you're on fire! Look! Grouse! Please, Sparrow, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, sending you coordinates, Salt Hunter. Interesting. The Necroquakes are coming from a subterranean abscess or cave in common parlance. We will create an opening with the explosives. Hold it. Ooh. 